everyone. My name is Trishla Maniam and this is my project Thomas Iphone Solar Water Heater. Let's take a look. This is the storage tank and this is the solar thermal collector. These are all the PVC pipes, water pump and the data logger circuit. Now let's take a look at the storage tank. It is insulated inside and outside to retain heat. This is the cold water inlet supply. And this is the cold water outlet PVC pipe. This is the hot water inlet PVC pipe. The hot water inlet PVC pipe has a tap. And this is the hot water outlet pipe. And that is the overflow. Now let's take a look at the water pump that we use. This is a 9 volt water pump. And this is what it looks like inside the junction box. This supplies the hot water inlet through the storage tank. It is powered by this adapter and the another adapter is to power the data logger circuit. The temperature data logger circuit looks like this. And this is the sensor wire that is connected to the PVC pipe of the hot water inlet. This is what the sensor wire looks like. Now let's take a look at the storage tank. This is the cold water inlet which supplies the water. This is the cold water outlet which releases the water to the collector. This is the hot water inlet and this is the hot water outlet. Let's take a look inside the storage tank. This is the overflow. That is the cold water inlet pipe. That is the cold water outlet pipe. This is the hot water inlet pipe. And this is the hot water outlet pipe. Let's close it. And this is the overflow. The tank uses thermal siphon technology where cold water with high density stays on the bottom whereas the hot water with low density stays on top. Now let's take a look at the process. The water is supplied into the tank from the cold water inlet. Then we open the wall to let the cold water out and flow through the solar thermal collector. It will then heat the water and make it flow through the water pump. As you can see, the water pump will make it flow through it to the storage tank. While it flows through it, the temperature sensor will measure the temperature and log it in the micro SD card. This adapter is used for the water pump and this adapter is used for the circuit. Now let me take you through the process. This is how the hot water is released into the solar collector which is made out of PET bottles, tetra pack cartons and aluminium foil to glaze the sunlight. It then flows through the water pump through the storage tank. As you can see, the heated water is already flowing in. We can then also take out the water by using the hot water outlet valve. As it is heating up, the temperature data logger circuit will measure the temperature using the sensor and the data will be logged in a log file. Now let's take a look at the overflow. As you can see, the water is almost overflowing and now it is getting rid of the excess water outside of the storage tank. The storage tank uses thermal siphon technology where water is circulated based on density. The hot water's pressure constantly pushes the cold water out which continues the circulation of water. This is the thermal siphon solar water heater and temperature data logger. Thank you very much. Bye bye.